All right, good day. Welcome to another smalljobsdenver.com video. Today's video is, well, you can kind of probably figure it out. Something just is a jar. All right, I'll just tell you. The toilet, it's actually falling through the floor. Oh, my. That bolt is pushed up almost an inch. And so, you know, I could just tell you that... Of course, this is like one of those things you can never access. And I'm going to show you here in a second just how crazy of a crawl space there is underneath this toilet and just how many things are in the way. And I mean, uh, return and supply for the HVAC system, tons of piping, tons of old piping from old galvanized that has been ripped out of this building and worse, lead toilet pipe dun, dun, dun. and so i think they have converted the sink behind me and this tub to a different drain but we're going to find this tub very well maybe still tied into this but ultimately i'm trying not to disturb the lead thing i'm probably gonna have to rip all that out we'll see step one we shut the water off we we'll disconnect this toilet pump it out remove the toilet it's out of here it's going somewhere and uh yeah and so you know to kind of give you a little more of the details here this is an apartment it's a you know two bedroom one bath apartment and so uh yeah the landlord brought them a bucket <laughs> that is the funniest thing true story i've ever heard anyway <clears throat> so not a bucket some kind of like insta potty or something you know like uh i don't know if i see it sitting here i'll take pictures okay but no so i'm here it's saturday geez it's 3 30. <clears throat> we're gonna get this thing started and when i say we i mean me myself and i <laughs> gonna get this thing started all right and so yeah you know the problem is with tenants here you know you can't just you know, I got a couple of things, you know, one, I'm not going to match that flooring, right? That's like shh, flooring that, shh, yeah, I don't even want to try to match it. I mean, <laughs> the other day, it just needs to come out. And so, wow, this is just an old building. And wait till I show you the downstairs. You're going to love this. But you can see that, you know, really the bathroom needs a full remodel. Okay. Now, I believe this drain, the sink is all new. I have not looked. Eesh. We shouldn't be looking. And, uh, yeah, so really I'm just worried about this whole drain assembly thing they got going on here. I got a four-inch lead pipe, and then I got a two-inch lead pipe running off to here somewhere going up. Probably no idea what's going on there. Uh, hopefully that's not something that's still active. So, yeah, who knows? So, ultimately, I got to cut a hole here. This hole is getting cut, right? Uh, and there is a, a beam running here within, like, three inches of the left hand side of the toilet that's running that away right so i'm really going to um yeah chop a big big ass hole yeah big ass hole okay so be right back here i'll show you this other i'll show you the underneath and just how crazy this is hang on here we go all right welcome back let's see There it is. Alright, so that is a four inch elbow or a 90 degree lead to lead leg that is actually drooping as a dip in it right there. And you see it disappears over here somewhere. I don't know what the hell it's going to. So that's the mystery, folks. And so, yeah, as you can see, if I back, and I'll see if I can get away from this stupid shrinky dink. I love this thing. There we go. You can see that's back, uh, I would say, 11 feet from the HVAC system and all this tubing. <laughs> Don't even get me started. I know. I know. There's no lid on it. And it's working. I know. All right, and so yeah, look at that, dear God, dear God, what am I gonna do? 
Look at that. <laughs> so I couldn't even tunnel in there. That's what I'm looking at. Like, wow. Like, what? It's a chimney. Uh, you see they tapped into the copper right into the old galvanized. Beautiful. <clears throat> so, yeah. That's a nightmare. All right. Let's cut a hole. All right. So I'm going to back upstairs, pull that toilet, chop a hole. I'll show you here in a minute. All right, welcome back. Hmm. Looks like somebody's already put a double or a triple gasket on there. Fantastic job, guys. Now I get it. It's a lead pipe, and I'm sure I'm going to be very, very upset here in a minute. But what are you going to do, you know? It always rains on a Saturday, doesn't it? Oh, boo-hoo. Okay, yeah, wow. Isn't that very interesting, huh? Yeah, you know, well, I gotta clean all that up here. And, uh, yeah, we're not gonna do it together because I want both hands. <laughs> all right, be back here in a minute. We, uh, expose this a little bit. All right, here we are. And so, uh, you know, it's all wet because I, I rinsed it down. Uh, it, it was really gross. And so I think we got really, really lucky. I've actually filled the tub up, and actually the tub, even though it does not drain as well as I'd love to see it drain, it does drain very, very well. It's right in the middle. So uh, I, that is working, so I'm not going to disturb that pipe at all. I did, While that was all running, I went downstairs to see if it was leaking out of the base, which is another common problem with lead. And no, we don't have any leakage down there. So I'm going to go ahead and rebuild this. I'm going to put a new... Uh, big piece of three quarter inch plywood down, reset a new flange, caulk and seal it, and then whenever you get uh, uh, the tenants move out of here, you're going to want to do uh, something like remodel. And so you can see that I pulled back the floor a little ways, uh, and I'm still going to do some kind of temporary flooring, uh, you know, vinyl, some type of vinyl. All right, welcome back, smalljobsdenver.com. Uh, you know, kind of like a plumbing emergency kind of deal here and uh yeah toilet was collapsing through and uh you know as you see two sets of floor and so somebody had already hacked this together <clears throat> you know i don't know maybe a decade or so ago and they actually just flipped this you know this actually isn't really that old this is actually uh you know was probably something i could have found somewhere but i'll tell you what it was just a yeah, it's a pain pain of a thing to try to try to like uh re -seam that and everything so now we're gonna do something completely different and so what i have here is uh really you know a whole muck of stuff you can see that somebody had actually re resurfaced so they took two by fours and they ran them left and right on top of the existing floor and then put down another floor and then they tied on top of that <laughs> uh so yeah i got quite a, a muck here going on so i got some nails to pull the hole is pretty much prepped, uh, and then I'm going to throw this bad boy in here. Yeah, very nice. Oh, yeah, 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 very nice. What do you think? Yeah. All right, and so uh, I'll come back. I'll show you how that's going to turn out. And then I'm going to use something like this. <gasps> I know what you're thinking. Me and Tom. <laughs> oh, baby. How sweet it is. How sweet it is. And anyway, so, I'll sing that to myself, I know. So, there you have it, guys. Oh, it's going to work in just a little while. All right, so it's like approaching 7.30. Saturday night, they're not home till 9. I'm racing to get some kind of toilet here so they can have a toilet. That'd make them very happy. All right, cool. Pop back here in a minute. Smalljobsdenver.com. All right, welcome back. Small job Denver, our quick little uh, plumbing dealy. And so I didn't get enough uh, underlayment, so I just get another little piece. And so while well, you get ready to set the toilet, uh, I'm going to wait on the uh, upper floor because uh, it's getting late. Let's get real late. All right, get this toilet in here. Get the hell out. It's uh, approaching 10 o'clock. All right, welcome back. I'm wiped out. What a long day. This is like my second project today, but man, not too shabby, huh? Put some tape down because that's a sharp edge. 
all that nasty tile. Well, you know, really need to rebuild kit inside there so that thing will flush properly. So you don't have to hold the handle, you know. But all in all, not too shabby. It's a complete repair on a toilet, including the subfloor. And yeah, so I'll probably come back here, uh, well, maybe not tomorrow, but you know, I get some, you know, kind of carries them over so they have a functioning bathroom to use. And, uh, and at some point, I'll go back and uh, work on doing something more to make this look much prettier. All right, smalljobsdenver.com, bathroom, toilet repair, uh, Arvada, North Denver. All right, welcome back, smalljobsdenver.com. Here's my quick little bathroom repair, carpentry, toilet fell through the floor kind of thing. And so, uh, yeah, I came out and decided to do some luxury vinyl tile there. Just a short piece, you know, and then, you know, whenever they get into, honest, with all that lead piping in there and stuff, they got to rip all of that out. Like, got it right down to the base. And so, yeah, I did the best I could with it. Nice little seam. Then I caulked the daylights out of everything. And so, uh, yeah, watertight. And now when they get out, it'll just, you know, puddle up. They'll have to dry it. Uh, but, yeah, before, we was just kind of running through all the little holes everywhere. Jeez. Anyway. Another fantastic repair. Another happy tenant, happy client. Smalljobsdenver.com. Let's call this quick little bathroom. One half, one third bathroom remodel. Arvada, Colorado.